Today we have a power station. Well, let's open it up. Energizer. All right, what do we got here? Well, we got a 320 watt hour battery and a 300 watt inverter. AC output, DC output, USB, USB-C uh, with ultra fast charging. Uh, looks like it can take solar. Okay, well let's open it up further. Oh, we got tape over here. Manual, we'll look at that later. We got a box with the little accessories. I'm sh Okay, there's the charger. It outputs 20 volts, three amps. Okay, we've got a car charger, I believe. Yeah, we've got uh, solar charger connections. So we got our MC4s to hook up a solar panel. Came with a USB-C cable. And there's the unit. Pretty cute little thing. We got our power on off button. Uh, so this looks like it turns the DC on and off. And here's the AC on and off button. Our input, I would assume maybe that's for the AC charger, the car charger, and probably the solar charging. We've got a power delivery 100 watt, and it's an in and an out. USB-C. we got a USB-C power delivery of 60 watt, and that's only an output. USB 3.0, two of those for output. We got a barrel jack for output. We got a cigarette lighter style jack for output, 12 volt, 10 amps. And then we've got two AC receptacles, 300 watts max. And I'm assuming that's a flashlight. Okay, maybe we have to turn it on. There it is. It's showing 70% charged. And let's try the flashlight again. There, whoa. That's bright. Sorry for blinding you. So we've got on, lower, a flash, fast flash, and off. That's a really bright light, actually. So, okay, let's turn the in inverter on. Okay. We need to find some small appliances to plug into that. Oh, okay, so there's the DC outputs. I'm curious about uh, how much solar can it take and what voltage. Okay, so it has a 12.8 volt lithium ion battery. So I'm assuming that's your standard lithium ion and not a lithium iron phosphate. 320 watt hours, uh, it does a thousand cycles. So yeah, definitely not gonna be a lithium iron phosphate. It's gonna be your standard lithium ion. All right, so there seems to be some confusion whether this is lithium ion or lithium iron phosphate. On the Amazon listing and the in their website, it says lithium iron phosphate. Uh, however, in the in the manual, it kind of seems to allude to. It actually says lithium ion and says only 1,000 cycles. So maybe maybe it's just misprint in the uh, manual. So we're gonna tear it down. I've already got one side off, and we're gonna get to the batteries and try to figure out what they are. It does look to be one, two, three, four prismatic cells. So it is probably a pretty good chance that it is lithium iron phosphate. I see the wire, wires, the main wires that go to the cells. Uh, they're connected here. We can get a voltage reading. 13.1. Yeah, that's probably lithium iron phosphate. Let's. Uh, Let's get the charger going. Yeah, it says 100% 100 charged. With the charger connected, we get 14.43. Yeah, this is a lithium iron phosphate, guys. So there's four cells, and uh, they are uh, reading 14.4 fully charged. That would give us a voltage of each cell at uh, 3.6. If this was four lithium ions in series, at fully charged, they'd be four, 4.2 volts times four. That'd be 16.8. So, yep, this is actually lithium iron phosphate. 
Uh, the solar panel voltage can be 10.8 to 23.5. So a maximum of a uh, just a basic 12 volt panel. I'm not seeing where it's showing how much solar power we can apply. All right, well, I'm about to read through this manual and you guys don't need to sit here and watch me the whole time, so I'll be back. All right guys, so I kind of scoured through this manual. It looks like the solar input can be 23.5 volts max and it'll do three amps. So it's roughly, it's about basically a three amp charge controller. And uh, I'm not sure if it's MPBT, but if you were able to run at 23.5 volts, which it's unlikely, times three amps, your maximum uh, wattage would be 70.5. Now I think it's unlikely that you're gonna get your panel to run at 23.5 volts. I think it's gonna be more like 18, 19, 20, something like that, so if that's MPPT. So probably we're looking at maybe 50 or 60 watts uh, max for solar charging. Okay, so uh, right now let's plug in the AC power adapter and start charging it and see how that goes. All right, so the AC adapter is plugged into the AC. We have to plug it into the input here. So it immediately the display came on. It's showing how many watts we're charging at. Looks like, uh, yeah, 66 watts. So that, yeah, that would definitely probably be the max wattage uh, with anything to charge it, whether it's your the car charger, the uh, solar, or the the power adapter. So we're at 71 percent right now. So it's 12 o'clock noon. So let's let this run for a little bit and come back and see where it, how long it takes to charge. You know, over the course of maybe 30 minutes to an hour. So 16 minutes have has elapsed, and uh, we went from 71 percent to 76 percent. Five percent every 15 minutes, roughly. So we're talking about 20 percent per hour. All right, well, bef before it charges all the way up, let's play with charging it with solar now. Okay, so maybe this panel, this is a 130 watt, 12 volt panel. And so we're safe here because this one says open circuit voltage is 21.17. Now this is a lot more wattage than we need, but that just means that we get to max out uh, this unit to see what it'll totally max charge at. So we got our little MC4 solar cable. And we'll go out here and hook it up. And here we go. Display cam came on. 20 watts, 28, 52, 54, 60, 61. Oh man, the sun's going down. No, or the sun's, we're getting shaded by a cloud. So it looked like we reached 61. So we're gonna have to wait until this cloud moves out the way. Of course, we'd have a giant chunky cloud move in front of the sun when we need it. All right, I'll be back. All right guys, I think it's about to move. The cloud is getting, it's going. Here we go. Now we're getting some sun. Let's see what we got now. I see 61. Oh, there's a reflection. Yeah, 61 so far is the highest I've seen. I think you can see it right there. There's 61. Yeah, 61's the most I've seen. Around 60, 61 watts. All right, so let's plug in some devices now. I've got my laptop and I've got my tablet. And then uh, for some AC devices, I've got a fan. All right, first let's try the USB-C power delivery, 60 watts. So that should work for my laptop. Yeah, let's plug it in. It's showing that we're only using five watts. Maybe because my laptop seems to be quite charged. Yeah, it says fully charged. So we need to do something to burn some power. We're on a little gaming benchmark. Okay, there we go. Now we're pulling 20 some odd watts. 23, 21, 23 watts. I think actually what I want to do is go ahead and unplug my laptop and let it 
drain the internal battery down some. All right, so it works with the laptop just perfectly fine. Let's try my tablet. And there we go, it says fast charging, 36% right now and an hour and 39 minutes till completion. All right, so perfectly fine there. Let's plug in the fan. And I think we gotta turn the AC outputs on. Yep, there we go. Fan starting up on low. Perfectly fine. Okay, so far we've got 140 watts coming out. Let's try medium. Oh yeah, it's all good. Hi. Yeah, no problem running the fan. So it's showing 172 watts there. Showing two hours runtime. I guess let's push it with this heater. I think the lowest setting on that heater will be 700 watts. So let's see what happens. Worst case scenario, it blows up. Okay, so it's not even doing anything. Oh, okay, I think I got it turned off actually. Oh, I saw it go to 360 watts and then we got an error code. So it, it caught it. That's good. So it, it didn't blow it up. <laughs> that's what we uh, basically want to make sure that doesn't happen. All right, that's, that's a good sign. All right, so let's try to charge the laptop again and see how many watts we pull now. 24. Yeah, we're probably not going to. Oh, 32, 36, 40. About 48 watts. All right, guys, so we've tried the solar charging, the AC charging, we've tried the USB port, we've done the AC inverter ports. Now let's go ahead and try the uh, cigarette lighter output. And I've got this. Uh, heated blanket, this 12 volt heated blanket. Okay. And it shows that we're pulling uh, 48 watts. And it looks like this thing will run this blanket for seven hours. So that would help you get through the night and not freeze if you were <laughs> in a situation where your power was out and it was freezing outside. Okay, so while we're running the heated blanket, let's plug the laptop back in to the USB. And there shows that we're pulling a total of 61 watts now. And then let's plug the fan in so we have all three things going. And we just go straight to high. Oh, I gotta turn the AC output on. There we go. Now we're pulling over 200 watts, 224 watts. And everything seems to be running fine. All right, some of you asked if the Energizer PPS320 power station can charge and power through the AC at the same time. So basically, uh, hook in the power adapter and charge the unit up and pass through any excess power through to the AC output. So right now, I'm pulling 15 watts with this uh, power brick, and it's actually charging my tablet that I'm recording on right now. So let's plug in the AC power and okay immediately it goes into the battery flashing as it's charging and then we flipped around and now we're putting in 30 or 41 watts so yes we can pull power through the ac while it's charging and the excess charging power does go through to the ac side all right, guys, I think that's going to be the end of the review for this Energizer PPS320. Seems to work fine. I'll leave some links in the description if you guys want to check this out. I'll leave a link to, the, to their website. And I think you can find these on Amazon, too, so I'll leave links for Amazon. That's going to be it, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.